Welcome to As Above, So Below. I'm Keisha Lee, the Psychic Yogi. And I'm Sydney Rich. And welcome to the Sagittarius New Moon Cosmic Chat and Psychic Energy Read. Um, Exciting. So it's a new moon in Sagittarius, as we just mentioned. And that means that the moon and the sun are conjunct. And conjunct means they're within the same degree uh, if you pull it up on the chart, they'll be right next to each other, right on top of each other. So with that being said, we have a new moon and it's this beautiful, exciting, enthusiastic, optimistic, expansive, fun, adventurous Sagittarius energy. I really do love that Sag season is holiday season because I think it is a very clear understanding of what Sag is about. Not only are we in this season for a reason, right? There's a lot of spiritual, religious um, undertones to the season, or that is why we have the season. It's not an undertone, it's an overt tone. Um, And so with that, it rules the ninth house. So it's the house of religion, it's the house of spirituality. It's also the house of higher learning, but we're in this space where it's asking us to kind of go beyond our logic or our conscious mind and into a space of exploration and um, stretching what we believe and understand and how we see the world and how we interact with the world when you go to college, right, you go, you get to expand your consciousness, right? Or if you go to any other um, certifications or trainings or anything, you get your basics, you know, get your GED, get your basics or high school diploma, basics. Anything outside of that is an expansion on what it is that you are, um, who you are as a person. And so that Sagittarius energy, um, it really brings a new way of viewing, experiencing, and being in a way that feels fun, right? Holiday season, back to where I was uh, started. It's like you get to see the lights and the festivities and the parties and all the fun ways of um, celebrating. And it's like, how can you loosen up, but also kind of get into a space of imagination that can bring you uh, forward into something new or into something that you've never experienced before, something that you want to explore. So it has a lot of fun energy attached to it. That fire energy is very creative, is very lively. And so it's a fun, mutable sign. So it it allows you to kind of like switch it up. We're at the end of the year, and I think that's cool too. We're at the end of the year. We could feel like a little sloggy, and some people are already like, I'm in 2024. I don't know what you guys are talking about. But it's like, I think it breaks up the energy really well um, before we get into that Capricorn energy. And it's just kind of like, you just let loose. Just shake it all out. Free yourself. Liberate yourself. um, Have fun. Look at things differently differently. Um, look at the bigger picture, right? Like, okay, maybe all these things happened over this year and maybe some of it was hard and some of it was just, oh, can we not? But where are you now with all the things that have occurred? And I think it's that's a really great way to view Sagittarius energy and this new moon. We're starting a new lunar cycle with the new moon. So we're able to set intentions. It's also the 1212 portal. So it is a significant time right now to really start to think about next year and where you're wanting to go, like that archer uh, that Sagittarius represents. You know, where are you shooting your arrow to? And what do you want to explore? And where do you want to grow and expand based on the things that you learned this year? You know, Sag energy, energy is also that of alchemy. And so taking all these lessons and making it make sense you know we don't go through anything for no reason we all know everything happens for a reason and Sagittarius energy kind of puts it all together for us and makes it make sense with the alchemy energy and so what lead have we been dealing with that's now turning into gold that we can now see its value 
and use that moving forward instead of maybe feeling you know weighed down by the year we can feel more uplifted optimistic about what's to come based off what we survived or what we learned over this last um 12 months right so I'm really into this interview right now because it really has been for me personally I've been like in a weird space and getting into the December portion of Sagittarius energy leading up to this new moon I'm starting to feel more optimistic I'm starting to feel more excited I'm starting to be more understanding and knowledgeable about why certain things had to happen the way that they did so that I could um, really find the value in that and trade it in, trade it in for something more, more, more growth, more expansion, more, more things, more life, right? Um, a quote that I know we've all heard, but life is a journey not a destination. And I think Sagittarius energy really encapsulates that as well because you get to do, you get to realize that there's the ebb and flow of things and the surprises that come with, with not knowing and just being and just experiencing and saying like, wow, that was hard. But today I'm feeling excited and I'm feeling good and I'm feeling better. It's like, that is living, that is life. And a Sagittarius allows us to look at things from a space of spirituality, from a space of higher understanding to know that all things truly are happening for us in divine timing, as the temperance card speaks about. And all we have to do is kind of put on our little seat belts and and be ready for the ride you know it's very much that roller coaster energy um and have fun because you're always if if nothing else life is going to take us places and we can either go with it or we can struggle and and try to escape it and that struggle a lot of times turns into someone putting your fire out it doesn't feel comfortable it feels cold it feels lonely it feels isolating it feels like um you're stuck you're depriving yourself but if you let that fire burn you have that warmth you have the light you have the ability to you know make whatever it is that you need that that fire can can alchemize for you whether that be uh food or what have you right so fire is a very um important element in general but when we look at it in this kind of way with this new moon it's like where are you lighting your life up where are you where are you allowing the fire to guide you to show you the way to warm you up to make you excited to give you comfort to give you um this optimistic energy of what's to come um cool the last thing i'll say before i pull for the uh, new moon energy is think back since we were talking about lessons on where you were gemini season six months into the Gregorian calendar, right? Where were you then? What was going on then? What was popping up for you? And see how that energy has changed and what does it look like now? And what do you feel about that person now? Um, I think that can kind of help show like, dang, that was six months ago and I was in that space and I was like going through it, but now I'm I'm on the other side of it and I have this sense of like, you know what? Spirit really was looking out for me. All that really did make sense in order for me to get to where I am right now. So let's see what the collective message is for everyone watching and listening. And excuse any verbal snafus. We are in Mercury retrograde. Um, 
technically it'll be retrograde once this is out and about. It goes retrograde tonight, tomorrow morning. So yeah, excuse all that. Okay, cool. So we have Taurus and Mercury energy coming through with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about, I feel like with this and uh, with Sag being that active masculine energy, it's where can we activate other aspects of our life and see what it can give us? Where can we turn something on and see what comes as a result of us putting energy into something, right? This, this energy exchange here. Uh, the high priestess reverse is cool because this is about things being unveiled, right? Sag is this fire right? and it's about spirituality and the high priestess is about our intuition. And when it comes up reverse, it's this disclosure of secrets, so to speak, or information. And so kind of like what I was saying, why did this have to happen? Oh, this is why. It's connecting the dots kind of energy with this high priestess coming in reverse. And then we have the fool. So with the new moon, this is a new beginning. We're setting new intentions based on the information that has come to light where we can start to activate other aspects of ourself and receive in those spaces in a way that maybe we didn't see before because we needed this time to um, progress before we were able to really understand why certain things happen. And what's crossing the high priestess is three of cups here. This is Pluto in Cancer. Why certain really tough emotional things forced us in a certain direction? It was to sh uh, reveal certain aspects of ourself that we needed to heal, certain things that were no longer in alignment with us as this is a 2023 seven year. We're still at that end point where we're saying, okay, we went through all this emotional turmoil to reveal the truth of who we really are or who our highest self is in this next chapter so that we can move forward with the fool on a whole brand new journey. Hmm. That's interesting because I think of the fool to me seems very Sagittarian, like just like happy-go-lucky kind of just, la, 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 you know, like, like an ignorance is bliss type of feeling, but not um it's almost I guess it is kind of that free spirited type of energy it's not like a happy-go-lucky where you're just completely ignorant of things it's just you're discerning about what you're going to be um entertaining and what really deserves your time and what really aligns with your joy and what brings you happiness and things like that so um as you were doing the tarot reading and the cosmic chat uh, i was kind of getting some downloads i'm like what is this timeline because what i get intuitively is that this is it's funny you said activation because that is a word that came to me today and i actually think i mentioned activation in the goddess guidance earlier this evening so it's very interesting that we we're on par with that um <laughs> so i feel and what I'm getting uh, is that this is just the beginning. And I was like, why does it, even though this is a new moon and we we tend to honor the new moon like around a three-day window. I know some might do a five-day window. However, like that energy can carry us through. It's not like, oh, it's day three and we're done, you know, just because the moon has, <clears throat> has moved into another sign. Um, I think the energy of a new moon is carried into the the next full moon which kind of adds another layer to it and then to the next new moon as well so there's like these cycles right <laughs> sorry i don't know why i got choked up there <clears throat> but excuse me but um yeah I'm like why why is this this energy it feels like it's going to last for 
I was like, I don't know. It feels like a, a soul activation that you might notice the effects of it uh, now and also later. And I was like, how, like, how is this going to come about later? But right now it feels like there's a soul activation that's happening. There's going to be some, some deeper truths that you're going to experience, not only within yourself, but in your relationships. And um, someone actually mentioned, yes, that uh, Sagittarius is known for expanding. So expanding is going to expand beyond just this three-day window of the new moon and beyond just this end of the year. And I realize it's because this energy of this Sagittarius new moon is going to take us to Gemini season. So it's another six month cycle. So it's like, what is it that you are wanting to grow? What are you nurturing? How does your garden grow? Your wealth garden, your love garden, uh, your health garden, all those things. Like, how is that? What are you nurturing? And what is it that really aligns with what you're passionate about? Like your creativity, your self-expression, how can you outgrow yourself in a way? Step out of your comfort zone, which is something I was mentioning earlier about myself. I was like, I feel like I can no longer hide who I am. I feel like my soul is just kind of like pushing itself through. And even though it's scary, I can't not do it either. You know, it's like, it's like I'm scared, but I'm, there's a part of me that's also like, oh, I'm doing it or, oh, I'm excited. And uh, what came to my awareness today was something that I had seen in a vision several years ago. I'm like, oh, it's happening. Like I'm doing it. I'm being it. I'm feeling it. I'm experiencing, like it's the expansion. And I was like, wow, this isn't something that it did maybe kick off like six months ago during Gemini season, but I feel like um, this as a collective is a, an opportunity of time of greater expansion. Not only are we going to see things in the collective, but also within our own lives. We're going to see things um, just shifting in, for some reason, the word unconventional or unexpected ways comes to me. Uh, so it's kind of like expect the unexpected. And that doesn't have to necessarily be negative or scary it to me feels more because it's in the sign of Sagittarius it's like expect the unexpected like goodness windfalls things you know like luck basically very Jupiter uh, oriented energy but luck and fortune and just like oh my gosh like I was expecting look at this line like and look this just happened and I got this email I got this phone call I met this person and yada 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 and it's like what is this happening like, did I just walk into Hogwarts or something and everything just got magical or something? <laughs> so that's what I feel like we're going to be uh, able, we're going to be able to witness changes, not only in, I feel like in our government and our infrastructure, um, new ideas coming into play that can help be, of uh, um, that can be like, uh, not just expand, but to help humanity evolve right uh to help us to evolve as a collective but also individually it feels like there's going to be most more soul oriented um which i think is interesting because aries is self-oriented about me 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 but i feel like sagittarius is going to be more of like a soul oriented type of energy where it's like what is what is truly calling me what is it that i'm denying myself that really can bring me more emotional fulfillment more joy more happiness more peace what have i been um playing where have i been playing small where have i been um you know downplaying things where have i been trying to conform Ugh, that just feels gross i don't like that word but <laughs> sorry it just felt like ugh, even saying i was conformed ugh. <laughs> but where where have i been conform conforming to expectations of other people other things and it's it feels like freedom really it feels like expansion and freedom so that's why i love sagittarius energy um because it's very liberating it's very liberating like out with the old in with the new and yes like it's it feels like a whole lot of like zero fucks given in the process <laughs> just like you know this is what i want to do i don't know why i'm doing it i'm almost kind of a witness to myself as i'm doing this I'm surprised at myself. I'm surprising myself in this journey, but I can't help but to keep going and to allow myself to, to, continue, to continue to evolve, to learn, to grow. And it feels like um, uh, self-realization, I guess it would be a good term, like self-realization, not just self-realization as far as, oh, I'm noticing more of who I am, but self-realization, like your higher self is becoming realized, it's becoming manifest here through you in the physical realm. So as above, so below, this feels very much like, um, very much like an embodiment 
okay, of your higher self, a higher consciousness on a collective level, but also on an individual level. So it feels very um, like a uh, almost like a, a little wheel of fortune kind of energy, like a turning of events, uh, like tides are turning, the winds of change are here. And it feels very much like that alchemy type of energy. It's something feels like there's a shift, right? But it's um, it's a deep soul calling on an individual and a collective level. It's something that's also undeniable. It's almost like fate and destiny also come into play, which helps with the energy of luck and helping to sustain that. So that's what this feels like. So yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, that is actually pretty cool um, because that's what I'm I'm feeling is like there's this changing of like the the karmic tables are turning. It just feels it feels so cool. I don't know how to explain it. it. Just that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm getting. It's like just the karmic tables are turning. And so if you've been doing good and reaping good, and even those who've been suffering and struggling, like blessings just coming, and it's almost like a shower of uh, of light, of love, of um, optimism, of joy, of happiness, of bliss. Um, I don't know, it feels like this very exalted type of energy, but it's going to be activated in little bits, you know, coming through in the next six months from now until um, until Gemini season, I would say, of next year. But uh, the key to unlocking this, you know, treasure, treasure chest, I guess, of blessings and golden opportunities, <clears throat> it feels like the key to unlock that is to notice the signs and to continue staying true to yourself. All right. Follow the signs, follow, trust your intuition, uh, trust your inner compass to guide you in the direction of your dreams. So. I like it. <laughs> Love it. And that was so awesome when you channeled there makes so much sense um it's really cool mix i mean i just can't my mind is kind of blown how much sense that makes um i'm not surprised that you channeled mm -hmm. that message <laughs> but it really is just hella spot on um i think it's really cool that you picked up on that wheel of fortune type of energy it's literally jupiter energy so I yeah i didn't know that so <laughs> I might be a little psychic. I might know a little something. something. And it's the 10th card, so it's endings and new beginnings. Ah. So like you said, it's this, it's this shift. It's this change. Um, and with the six-month window, that's cool, too, because that's that divine timing. Like, it will happen as it's supposed to. Like you said, activation and in little increments. It's not mm -hmm. going to just boom, but it'll happen mm -hmm. exactly when it's supposed to come in. Mm -hmm. there might be some booms today was a boom for me i was like what is happening <laughs> i'm like okay it's just like i don't know it's like a shooting star just happened or something it's just um so expect those moments too that's the expecting the unexpected you might have you'll have those little nuggets in between but also there might be like some timeline jumping happening like just some exponential growth Ooh, mm -hmm. i like that do yes, that one. and that's okay. also why the full card came out. The full card is literally Uranus energy, which is literally expect the unexpected. You know, what can I say? <laughs> we don't have to say much. Um, <laughs> and it was cool that you brought, so then we'll we'll wrap up in a second, but it was just a really cool, you know, spiritually, like, dense um channeled message you got there and then I so I felt like I'm just gonna pull some oracle cards and I literally as you're talking everything they were saying don't let your past hold you back came through mm -hmm. and then we have nothing is yet set in stone so that mutable energy and then you spoke to Aquarius energy and we got show the world the real you kind of like you said the non-conformity so <clears throat> really cool energy is flowing um so I love that my badge moon is mooning and sagging. <laughs> sure is. So I hope you guys feel that too out there. Let us know how your new moon is going. Um, and we will be back for, I'm going to get do it correctly this time. We will be back for the Capricorn season Astro Reiki, mm. followed by the full moon in Cancer.
Um, yep. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this episode. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Share it with the homies. And we will see you next time.